Welcome back painting friends. Today we are going to paint a picture of a patriotic background with a ball jar. Um, Fourth of July is coming up right here. So that's what I'm going to work on today. Colors you're going to need red, white, and blue, yellow, green, and black. I always have my favorite four brushes with me on my one inch flat brush, my 10, six, and one round brush. Don't forget to have a cup of water and a rag for keeping your brushes clean. And remember, if you like what you're seeing here, then like and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you get updates on all of our videos. Let's get started. I'm going to start off by painting my background with a dark blue color. So I'm just going to grab that dark blue. I put a little bit of water on my brush because I do want it to be a little bit watercolorish, uh, a little bit less dark than the regular blue. So that just means I dipped my paintbrush in my water and I'm just adding a little bit of water to it. When you're finished, you can wash and dry your brush off, set it aside. We're gonna let our background dry. When we come back in, we're gonna add in those stripes, stars, and of course, that ball jar. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna make my stripes for my stars and stripes. Um, I'm gonna start with red at the top and go all the way down to white. But I don't want to uh, make them too thick and I don't want them to make them totally red. So I'm gonna put a little bit of red paint on my brush and I'm gonna start right about here and I'm just gonna pull a line across just a little bit. I don't want it to be super filled up, okay? And then I can measure it out and kind of make sure I know where my next line is gonna start. So right about here, same thing over here, measure it out, know that it's gonna start right about here and then do my next line over. After I have my red finish, I'm gonna wash and dry off my one inch flat brush, and then I'm gonna go in with that white color. So exact same thing, I'm just gonna kind of pull it across. Every once in a while, if I want to, I can add just a little bit more white to it. I'm gonna wipe my brush off, and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of go right in between these two layers of color and blend them just a little bit. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of that dark blue and just kind of add it in every once in a while on these colors so that it kind of fades a little bit back into that dark blue. So don't have to do it everywhere, but just every once in a while, take a little bit of that dark blue and kind of cover up over that red and white. Now, you do not have to add 50 stars in here, but if you wanna add 50 stars, go for it. Um, otherwise, I could just go through and I'm going to make dots in sixes and then fives. So I've got a five. I'm going to go right in between those and put sixes. I am not counting. I might get close to 50. I might not. I'm okay with it. But I'm just going to go ahead and put my dots on there. Down here at the bottom of my picture, I'm gonna grab a little bit of black paint and just kind of paint in some black area for my grass. I'm gonna layer either the first layer of grass in while it's still a little bit wet and dark. Um, so I'm just gonna take my number 10 round brush with a little bit of green paint and I'm just gonna paint some grass coming up and I want that grass to pull in that black because this is the back layer of it. So it'll be the, the darkest layer. 
Uh, my next layer, I'll add a little bit of green, a little bit of yellow, but it'll be dry first. So just pull some of that grass up. Now I am going to put my ball jar right about here. So maybe in this area right here, I'm not going to pull any grass up. Okay, let's let this dry. When we come back, we will add in the rest of our details. All right, totally dry background. Let's go ahead and get our ball jar on there. Anytime I do um, a jar like this, I like to water down my white paint so it's a little chalky and a little bit see-through. So I've got my number six round brush with some watered down white paint. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start right up here at the top and I'm just gonna make a straight line for where the top of my ball jar is gonna be. From there, I'm just gonna make two little bumps and another straight line across. From there, just underneath those bumps, I'm gonna make a small curved line that goes out. And from that point on, I'm just gonna kind of curve it out and bring it down. Now the bottom of my jar, I'm gonna have covered with a little bit of grass. So I'm not super worried about that part. But the word ball, and you do not have to word, write the word ball, you can put whatever you want on there. But the word ball, I'm just gonna make it at an angle right here and cursive writing. The little line underneath it. I'm gonna take a small amount of blue and just kind of ever so gently add a little bit of blue around my ball jar. A little bit of highlight, even on my words. I like to call this ghost writing where like sometimes you see it, sometimes you don't, but you can tell it's there. I'm gonna even add some up here on the, the rim of my jar. And then I'm gonna do the exact same thing with yellow, a little bit of yellow. I can even go in and add a couple more of these little jar lines. Now let's go ahead and grab our number 10 round brush and we'll add that grass in. So this time my layers with the grass are gonna be green and yellow. So I've got green and yellow on my number 10 round brush and I'm gonna go ahead and add some of those around my jar, in front of my jar and throughout my green grass area. Now, to add fireflies, I'm just gonna take my finger and I like to put a little bit of white paint on my finger and then I like to tap it on my palette so that most of the white comes off. And what I do is I take my finger with that almost no white on there and I'll set it on my canvas and just kind of do like a dry rub. So that means that there's almost no paint coming off, just a small glow. And then I can go back in with my paintbrush with a little bit of white and yellow paint. And I could put the, the, the body right in the center, just a little bit of white and yellow. All right, let's go ahead and add our fireworks. So I'm gonna put just some little sprink sprinklers, um, sparklers inside of my jar. So I'm gonna take a little bit of black paint I'm gonna make one sparkler coming down right here, kind of coming into my jar. I have one going right up here in the middle. And then one coming at this angle. All right, I'm gonna do one sparkler for you and then I'm gonna jump into speed motion. So the sparklers are pretty simple. That's gonna start right here in the center and pretty much you're just gonna make lines that pull out from that center point. So it's gonna almost be like a starlight effect. It's gonna have all these lines pulling out from it. Now you can make your colors any color you want, but I'm gonna make this one right here red. So then after I have my white on there, I'm gonna add my red in. I'm gonna leave that center a little bit more white than red.
I'm gonna take the back of my brush and I'm gonna put some little dots of white and yellow around the edges of my sparkler. And last but not least, right towards the center of my sparkler, I'm going to add a little bit of yellow. I feel like there's always that light flame color at the very center of the sparkler. All right, so I'm going to pop myself at speed motion and finish off these last two sparklers. Okay, we are just about finished and I'm looking up here and I don't love how square this is. I want it to look more natural. So I'm actually gonna go in with a little bit of white and kind of pull this white in to my square. I'm gonna do the same thing with that red just to have it be not so mm, aggressive of a box, you know? So I've got my number 10 round brush pulling those colors in a little bit. And then on some of these, I'm gonna turn them into stars. So I'm just gonna take my teeny tiny baby brush, and I'm just gonna find a couple and turn them into stars. And I'm not talking like a five point star, I'm just talking like a couple of crisscross lines over top of them. Now looking back at this ball jar, I'm going to take a little bit of white paint. This is called dry brush. So you take your white paint, you get your towel, you just wipe a little bit of that off. You want your brush to be dry. That's what dry brush means. And then I'm just going to go through and add a little bit of highlight to my jar using dry brush. So you see a little bit of that paint, but you don't see a whole lot of it. It just kind of gives it a small glow. And I think you know what to do when you're finished. When you're finished, you need to find a color that's going to show up on your canvas and sign your name. I always put my name in the bottom right corner of my canvases. Remember that I never get to see what you're painting at home unless you post it to my Facebook page, Painting with a Purpose. Make sure that you like and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Painting with a Purpose, so you're kept up to date on all of our tutorials. And remember, as always, stay kind, stay creative, and stay safe. Have a great day, friends. Bye now.